survival. <laughs> God's super helper. Jerusalem was packed. People from all over the Roman Empire were visiting for a celebration. But Jesus' disciples were nowhere to be found. Really? Why? You see, after Jesus died on the cross, they had gotten some good news and some sad news. What was the good news? Jesus was alive! Yes, yes, yes! That was good news! And, uh, what was the sad news? Jesus was going to leave them. Oh. But there was also some other good news. Good! Oh, double good! What was it? It was time for Jesus' friends to spread the good news about his kingdom. But that's a ginormous job. Which is why Jesus left them with even more good news. Jesus promised to send his followers a helper. A helper? Who? No one knew. So, for the time being, Jesus' friends hid in Jerusalem, waiting and praying. They hid? They didn't want the Pharisees and Sadducees coming after them like they had come after Jesus. So, they were trying very hard not to attract too much attention. I get it. One day passed, then two, then... We've been praying for three days and still no sign of the Helper. What should we do? What Jesus told us to do. I guess. So they continued to pray. Four days passed. Five, six, seven, eight. It's been nine days. What should we do? Then, on the tenth day, boom! Boom? A sound like a huge wind filled the house. And something that looked like little flames of fire appeared over their heads. Ah! What was it? The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Whoa! Was the Holy Spirit the helper Jesus promised? Yes, the helper had come. Amazing! And something even more amazing happened, because as the disciples were filled with God's Spirit, they began to praise God, and... Great is the Lord, and Hordovan Burstogast! Huh? What did you say? Hordovan Burstogast! Bashi on the story Espisur! Hey, how do you know that language? Everyone in the room began speaking in different languages that they did not know. Whoa! That was really helpful because, remember, during those days, people from all over the Roman world were visiting Jerusalem. Suddenly, they were hearing all about Jesus in their own language. It was a miracle! Hey, everybody! Have I got news for you! Wait, I thought Jesus' friends were all hiding. Not anymore. God's helper helped them to be brave. Peter boldly told the people all about Jesus. And guess what? There's more? <laughs> oh, yes. The crowd was so amazed with Peter's message that, well, guess how many of them became followers of Jesus that day? Oh, uh, let's see. Ten? <laughs> Higher. Twenty? Higher. Thirty? Forty? Sixty? One hundred? Three thousand! What? Yep. Then, Jesus' disciples started bravely talking about Jesus all over Jerusalem. Everyone must have been amazed. They were, except for, well, you know who. Yep. Still us, the Pharisees and Sadducees, and just as grumpy as ever. Hey, you better stop talking about Jesus or, or, 
or we'll arrest you. They threatened the disciples, but the disciples went on telling people about Jesus anyway. Because Jesus sent them the helper? Yes. For the first time ever, God's spirit and power were available for all of Jesus' followers. And with that power, they would go out and change the world. Do you want more Laugh and Grow Bible? What do you mean? Sign up for Minnow and get more Bible stories and loads more amazing shows. Wow! How cool is that? Minnow is a great place to stream Christian shows for kids. Amazing! Download the Minnow app and start your free trial today. Yay!